Hi, Kobe and I are in Phoenix, Arizona right now. We are um, in, in part of Phoenix that borders Paradise Valley and Scottsdale, kind of in that little area. We're about a mile from, maybe even closer to Dreamy Draw, which is like this um, little place uh, is a Phoenix Point down this is view of this bird. Um, behind me, you'll see all these wonderful trees in Arizona that are just amazing. A part of the desert that I actually really like. Let me see if I can find this bird. Oh, it looks like he flew away. Okay. So, um, well, behind me is, you'll see the sign that says no trespassers. Um, no trespassing violators, we, violators will be prosecuted. The really bummer thing is that's a really wonderful trail. In fact, that trail right there, we actually used to follow that, uh, my dogs and I, about I don't know, five, ten years back when we used to come here. It's really nice. It kind of goes, it's very expanse, and that'll be Highway 51. It'll kind of, you know, it'll end up near there. Um, uh, obviously, a lot of people have used that trail, like, yeah, my dogs in the past. So they've actually, you know, blocked it off. Um, this is something I really like about Phoenix, are these these trees right here, um, I think these are the same one. This is a different type of tree. But you'll see, this is the green part of Phoenix, um, the part that I really, really like. <laughs> um, I'm not really a desert person, but I really appreciate the different soft shades of green. This tree right here, I, I believe it's called a Palo Verde tree. Uh, if I'm wrong, if you know otherwise, let me know. I'm eager to know more about it. I'll probably look it up a little bit later on. But it is so wonderful. It's got this like greenish bark, and um, it just it just kind of has this feathery leaves that just make me kind of very happy. It's very soft. You'll see right here it grows to pod, and these pods are really really fun because when they get mature they kind of fall off and spin and spiral to the earth, and they go pop pop pop, and um, so it's kind of fun because you hear all this like random popping you know outside. Um, yeah. The trees um, are more, uh, it's just, I find this totally fascinating. We brought a, a tree back from Arizona when I moved back to Maine. I tried to keep it alive. I lost it last year. It just doesn't do well, obviously, in different, it, just, it didn't like it when it hit, like, you know, uh, zero degrees, you know. Tried to keep it alive the first year, and then it didn't make it. But, um, yeah. So one thing what Kobe and I got today was a, um, a wonderful gift from my sister. Actually, it was for Kobe. She painted this for us. This is Kobe's new purse. And she painted this. This is uh, the side that is the day, the, the daytime side. It has my tiny house window with the little flowers and plants and all these wonderful flowers around it. Uh, my flowers aren't as beautiful and plentiful. <laughs> this is the sun, this is daylight, so we have clouds and blue sky. On the side, we have echinacea plants. Um, fun fact, my echinacea have never grown that big. I, I plant them by seed every year. I try. They make it, but then they end up dying in that mid-time between fall and winter. Echinacea need a couple years to get mature and big. These right, This right here is the opposite side, which is nighttime. Whereas she had the sunshine and clouds and sky on the daytime, this is night, which has the moon and stars. And this is my my window to my tiny house, and it's pulled closed because it's nighttime. And then we have right here echinacea again. Kobe and I are gonna try this out later on. We're gonna go on to Walmart of all places. Anyway, that's where he's gonna sit, and he's gonna his, his little head will pop out. And I don't know if he's gonna enjoy that too much, but we're gonna have fun. So um yeah, so we're gonna try out that, and we'll be here for a couple days, and we'll be taking off maybe sooner. Who knows? Anyway, it's a beautiful day here. It hasn't gotten to be, um, it's not yet 100, so that's pretty special. Anyway, have a great day.